Hey, super souls, welcome to the channel. Welcome back, anyone who's following my readings and welcome to anyone new. So this is the Moon Magic Tarot channel and today I am doing a reading that I do every single Sunday. We're asking for immediate guidance for you, an immediate message, something that could well be time sensitive, that you need to know about right now immediate messages, immediate guidance, and kind of if it's appropriate, we'll be kind of looking at how the next seven days are panning out. It's one of the reasons I do these readings every Sunday. So it kind of gives you an opportunity to like have a kind of spiritual check-in for the week ahead. So we're going to draw three cards together and we'll draw some runes for each of the cards as well and charms too. So for anyone that likes a little bit extra, that will be coming into the readings as well at this early stage. If you are already, even from the thumbnail, you know which of the readings you want. The timestamps are in the description box and I always list all the cards I'm using as well. So you can check those out too if you find you're really drawn to a pack. Now I'm actually seeing this and this as pile one and pile two. And I'm really feeling like it's the card on the base of the pack for pile three. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So pile one, your card, your first card, your primary card is butterfly. Okay. Pile two, you have a hummingbird. Wow, very vibrant energy. Okay, and then pile three, we have the bear. Okay, so these are the three cards that we are drawing. Now these are timeless readings, even if you guys follow them. I know some of you do, and thank you so much to those of you that follow these readings week in, week out, but they are timeless, so you can come to these at any point in time. Let's draw a rune for each as well. We have uh, the rune of uh, the spiritual warrior. This is Tewaz. So this is for pile one with the butterfly. For pile two, we have the rune of Hagalas. Okay, so this can indicate disruption, but that doesn't mean that's part of um, part of your reading, but that's what it's also known as. It's sort of English terminology, uh, disruption, um, Hagalas, hummingbird. And then for the bear, pile three, we have Rado, the rune of journey. Okay, so let's place those there. We'll draw a charm as well. Let's see what we are shown. Okay, so pile one. Oh wow, well, this is beautiful. You have a leaf. Pile two. You have, you have a beautiful fairy. Interestingly enough, her wings look like leaves as well, actually. I don't know if you can see that. Is that showing up okay? If the camera will focus. Yeah, her, her wings actually look like leaves as well. Okay. I can feel one. It's like really um, kind of clinging to the side of my finger. Okay, you have a bunch of grapes. Tiny little, is the camera going to focus okay? Yeah, tiny little bunch of grapes. I don't know if it is really showing in the focus, but anyway, sometimes the camera focuses more on my fingers than the charm. But yeah, we have a bunch of grapes anyway for pile three. Okay, so beautiful souls, take as long as you need to. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well at this moment in time and that these readings will bring you exactly the messages and guidance that you need. They are general readings, so within the readings, I always think you need to kind of listen to what resonates because some of the messages that come through could possibly be for someone else and some for you. But take as long as you need, tune into the readings, Click on the timestamps and I will see you in just a moment and I'll put them in a comment as well for you as well. Hey Pile One, welcome to your reading. You know the energy that's coming off your first card and this rune is is 
about sort of determination, actually. Now, a, a butterfly has reached a point of unfolding, and I feel as though this leaf is also kind of, it's unfolded, it's unfurled, it's not at its starting point. Tewes, the rune of the spiritual warrior, it, it's got a very clear, decisive kind of energy about it. It speaks of discernment, of cutting away the old. And, and there really is, interestingly, an energy of kind of determination or uh, maybe a message asking you to, I can't even just say persevere because it doesn't feel like it's just a persevering that could feel like a slog at something. It's like, it's really dynamic. It's like, kind of like make this happen, make something happen. So let's see what we're shown. An immediate message for my pile one, please. Something that is time sensitive that I need to be aware of right now. I'm actually seeing this and this for you. Let's see what we have here. You have soul. Wow, look at this mirror here. And I see a pen and paper. If you guys are watching this as I post it, we're about a week away from uh, the, the new moon. And at the time of the new moon, we make wishes. And also we are in January, the month of January, as I'm doing this. It is a timeless reading, so you could come to this at any time. But the astrology right here and right now, if you're following my readings week in, week out, and thank you to those of you who are, the astrology right now for January, it's kind of like uh, your mindset, you know, how you really, the intentions you set, almost like through the whole month of January, are going to set the pace for the coming year. It's like the seeds you sow now. It's like if you get yourself into a particular zone uh, of clarity, then this is going to set the pace for the year. I feel like you're being asked to really prepare in some way here um, to, to really dream in, look like look in the mirror and almost expect to see in the mirror exactly what you want, like having a vision board or writing a list, a wish list. Now we have closure as well. And I think this is the cutting away, the decisiveness. You know, maybe there is stuff lingering from the previous year, or if you're watching this in six months' time, something that is lingering, something that you're needing to close the door to, like with determination, um, it's like having a clean sweep, a new calendar. Record keeping here. We have, again, the feather writing. I look at these kind of star symbols coming out, literally leaping out of the picture here in the calendar and there's a window this there is a window of opportunity actually and this is what uh, your message is there's a window of opportunity around you literally to decide what you want to create what do you want to flourish what do you want to emerge i feel like your energy is quite primed for manifestation what does your soul desire? What do you want? What do you want to make happen? You're really being encouraged to record it, to make a note of it, to write it down, do a vision board, get really clear, close the doors on anything that doesn't serve you. And I don't mean in a ruthless way, but that word really came through, ruthless. So I'm not quite sure where that's about. We'll get some clarity. Why, why did that word ruthless come through? We'll draw some clarifying cards. But it's like you're needing to cut away the old and just give yourself a clean slate of stuff you really, really want. Get focused. Be determined. And the ruthlessness is... Well, let's just draw some cards. What is this ruthlessness about? Let's draw some more oracle cards just to get some clarification around this. What is this ruthlessness about? Heal the ouch. Okay, so um, something or someone has kind of caused you pain. And I'm so sorry. Y you've been hurt by something. Something's, you know, maybe there was stuff going on. If you are watching this in January, maybe there was stuff going on last year. Last year was a tough year. There was a lot of stuff going down last year, 2023, wow. You know, I, I was talking to someone the other day, 
I may have voiced this in another reading, actually. I was talking to someone the other day about how, you know, it, it's like it felt a lot of the time, the energy-wise, that we were like walking through treacle, but we were kind of building muscle at the same time. I think you're in a much stronger, more resilient place than you realise. I, I think you're maybe not feeling very resilient. I do think something has kind of almost want to say tarnished your dreams or something like that. But you know what? With a determination, it's time to heal the ouch. It really is. It's time to look ahead, move forwards. Let's draw another oracle card for you. Can we have more information about looking ahead? Look at this field of dreams. I love that this mirror is like an egg shape. Field of dreams. It's now time to really think about what you want to hatch what, what do you want? Uh, what do you want to create? And really, really commit to making it happen. And the commitment right here and right now is almost like energetically making this happen. It's like right here and right now, carve out some space to record your desires, to write down your dreams, to write down your wish list. Whatever heal, what, whatever needs healing, whatever ouched you, it's time to just, you know, seriously, just, you know, cut cords and walk away because there's a ton of potential energy around you for the taking right here and right now. And that's what I'm being shown here. This is your primary message. May we ask for guidance for the kind of coming week, really? Perhaps we can have some guidance, please, as to perhaps how to heal the ouch or how can pile one get focused? Can we have assistance, guidance? Um, information to to help okay let's look at your cards the first one that actually just showed itself was the nine of wands okay get resolute here he's really centered look He's really, really centered. Can you see within his cloak? It's like the universe. It's like the universe is sitting within him. There is some kind of magical energy of creativity around you. You know, whatever this ouch, your kind of spirit team are really saying to you, look, you can make something happen. You can manifest something. The key here is to get really, really centered, not be divided in any way. Get yourself really centered. There's some magical energy. Look at this. You have the star card. Yep, you have the eight of wands. Sorry, eight of wands. It's the three of wands. Do you know, I read that as the eight. I do have my glasses on. <laughs> Excuse me. For those of you that know me or know my face, I, I'm wearing my glasses. But how interesting that I saw that as an eight. And the eights are all about movement forwards. Actually, this is the three of wands, which is also a point of celebration. And we have butterflies. Look at the butterflies. Right, okay. What are your three main wishes? This is coming through here. What are your three top priorities? Let's get really focused. We asked for guidance. How can you get really focused, guidance and assistance to know what you can do this week to really begin to shift your energy or tune into the energy that is available to you, moving away from the ouch to that space of profound possibility, like the calendar. What are you going to have manifest in the coming months? You then have the two of wands. You have the moon, you have the princess of pentacles, beautiful, and the six of wands, excellent. This is a card of victory, um, this always symbolizes victory, success. Right, okay, beautiful souls, my pile one, I am really sorry that you've been ouched. That was not nice, deeply saddened for you. But time to up your game. Whatever ouched you, you want bigger, better, more. You're worth way, way more than whatever ouched you. You want bigger, you want better, and you deserve it, and you can have it. Your reading is unbelievably positive. Your tarot cards are shouting out for you to work actively with the universe to create. And to create fast. Okay, so we have the star card. 
Um, this is going to be bringing in um, hope, renewed possibility. This is helping your energy move forwards. I think you're being asked to focus yourself on three priority areas. Okay, what are your top three areas? You know, maybe there is um, your working world, um, maybe there's your home life or your home situation, maybe there's your love life. I don't know. What, what are the three top areas of your world that you want to manifest in? And even if you're really content with one of those areas, you know, there may be other areas that you want to focus on, but take three particular areas of your world or your three top priorities and focus on them. Write a list, write them down in detail. What do you want them to do? If you're very good and creative, you could sketch out uh, the details, the picture of what you want your life to look like. You could download images and do a vision board, but get to it, bring your focus in and then be prepared to take action because there's divine timing here. When I kind of said the energy around you is primed to manifest, it really, really is. And these are your deepest desires with the moon. I did say to you, if you're watching this in about a week's time, we have a new moon. I, I feel like this, if you're watching it now as I'm uploading it, maybe it's, even though we're seeing a full moon with the moon card, I think maybe it's with this new moon. It's like you've got a week of preparing, of preparation. Focus on what you really, really, really want. The abundance of every aspect of your life. I'm really seeing the bear here as well. And I'm just going to voice this because it's coming through as a, as a message, actually. If any of you have been drawn to the bear in pile three, I haven't done pile three yet, but I am hearing that there may be some relevance to you in this. That will be a message for some, but not all. Yeah, you can take charge of something that has the ouch hit you in a deep way. It affected you deeply. But you can take charge of this and you're going to see results quickly. This is what I'm seeing here with the Six of Wands, this card of victory. Look at the energy. And I read this card as the Eight, which is also a card of speed. I feel like this week, and there is a recommendation from Spirit for you, my beautiful Pile One, to get to it, get focused, write your dreams down, three priority areas or three top wishes, and really, really, really bring your focus and attention to them using every tool in the book, writing them down, spending time every day when you've written them down, reading them through, maybe when you go to bed or when you get up in the morning, you could do your gratitude for them as if you have them already. <coughs> Excuse me. Get your focus. Get your focus really on what you desire and what you want, not where you're coming from or what has happened. Shift your energy. Three top areas and we're going to see results quickly. This is what I'm seeing. It's like something happening fast, fast, fast. So get yourself focused. It's this energy of determination and the ruthlessness bit that came through. I, I kind of have a sense that maybe you were treated badly by somebody who lacked a conscience. It may have felt that they were a bit ruthless. And sometimes when somebody behaves badly, we can feel quite ruthless and resentful towards them. This is a time to be cutthroat about what you want and cutthroat about letting go, putting it down. You deserve more, bigger, better, everything that's that you could possibly dream of. Your reading is so, so clear this week, my beautiful pile one. So get to it. It's up to you. You don't have to. You have conscious free will and choice. But truly, this is really suggesting that you do let your dreams emerge. Don't be don't be hanging around in the energy of something that didn't work for you. Truly, um, it, it's got a really dynamic feel to it. And I am seeing something happening fast. So this is a week to make it happen and invest in every ounce of everything you can possibly do to get your focus in alignment. Do you know, I'm even hearing this sort of like determination in my voice. I don't know if you can uh, are hearing it, but I, I feel like I'm being really, um, even my, my arms are like kind of like doing this whole kind of like determination, kind of my hands are in fists rather than just, you know, uh, you know, our hands just move, don't they, when we're doing a reading. But mine are like, yes, yes, it's like a real go for it energy. So pile one, it's time to get to it.
make it happen for yourself sow those seeds in terms of writing visioning in doing something get your focus absolutely sharp razor sharp with everything you desire and want and let go of this completely and well keep us posted is all I can say keep us posted because it would be fabulous to know um, how things are happening for you guys um, thank you for being here thank you all of you for being a part of the moon magic tarot channel actually and if you're new welcome to this amazing community you only have to read the comments here actually if you're brand new here to realize the level of integrity and depth of the people who come to this channel I'm sure you visit many other readers as well there are some amazing readers here on YouTube but thank you for you know blessing this channel with your presence Thank you for your comments. Thank you all of you who give back through the super thanks too. You guys are amazing. You're really inspirational. So if you're new to the channel, flick through the comments and just read people's stories. And um, yeah, you guys really are very inspirational. So get to it. Keep us posted. Tons of love. And I look forward to seeing you again, maybe for another reading if this one has resonated. And oh, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing as well. Tons of love. Bye. Hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading. You have the Hummingbird card. You have this little fairy. How interesting. Um, she came out this way, and I, I really noticed that she's carrying something. It looks like something with a hole in it, actually. And as, as I kind of picked her up, I turned her over. And it's almost like something then becomes complete. I feel you're needing to turn something around here or complete something. And I think some versatility is needed with the hummingbird card. Hummingbirds can fly upwards, downwards, backwards, forwards, sideways. They, they are the most versatile of creatures in their ability to move. They have flexibility. Hagalas, the rune of disruption, it, it's an interesting energy. Sometimes it's like something has to give. I, I feel like you're needing to either complete something or maneuver around something that has is proving to be a little more tricky, maybe, or a little more difficult than you had anticipated. Okay. And I'm sorry that, that that's happening. But yeah, it does feel like the energy here is requiring... Um, yeah, flexibility. Let's ask for more information. And we're asking for an immediate message, guidance and an immediate message for pile two, please. What is this about? Why is flexibility needed? I'm seeing this card. It's actually that one. Record. record. I was going to say record. Isn't that interesting as opposed to record? Planning. Okay, planning is required here. Make some notes, um, intuition, how interesting. I do feel there is a bit of a tricky situation going on around you. You're having to kind of turn it around or complete it or work out how best to navigate it, basically. Now, this is one of those moments where I think something is hanging in the balance as well here. Look at this swing here. You've got to navigate something something is hanging in the balance it's like it, it can i think you can redeem something here the hummingbird is also a, a card that represents joy there is something that you can redeem but you're going to need to think about it carefully and work out how to do this like like plan accordingly in a very responsive way so it's not, this is not a situation where you can just work out your steps from, from like A to Z and it's a really straightforward method of steps from one place. If we do this and this and this and this, it will work out. That's not going to work here. You're going to need to take one step at a time, like, like plan ahead in terms of what the outcome that you want is. And then from that outcome, take it one step at a time and intuitively respond to the next step as it goes, because something is kind of swinging a bit loose here. May we have more information? What is this situation or can we have more? Yeah, maybe just some clarification or something of the energy or the nature of this situation. Why is it needing to be handled so carefully? 
stuck in the mud. Okay, right. So it is a bit tricky. It's a bit sticky. Do you know, I, I'm going to say this. I think some of you may have dug yourself a bit of a hole. Okay. Um, you Because know, we do, don't we, sometimes? We dig ourselves a bit of a hole. Um, you may have actually started something or engaged in something that is no longer really what you want. And you're a little bit concerned about how to navigate. I feel like you do have to navigate your way through something that just feels a bit tricky, a bit sticky, wading through treacle or deep mud. Yeah, some of you may have dug yourselves a bit of a hole in something. Maybe you committed to something that you didn't really, really, either, either you didn't want it or you didn't realize quite what it would entail. Or maybe you have started something and it's bigger than you realized, you know, there's more work to be done. Um, that may also actually be true for some of you. This is a general message. So, um, you know, it's a general reading. So different messages are coming through. For some of you, you may actually literally be trying to wade through quite a pile of work or a, a, a pile of something that feels like there's a t it's a tall order to achieve it. In which case, plan, work out, write a list of everything you need to do. But intuitively, kind of take one step at a time, like take a step and review and evaluate. Maybe there's a lot of stuff on your plate in one go at the moment, and it feels like something has to give. Well, you know, complete this in kind of both a methodical way and yet also an intuitive way. Intuitively lean into what is the next step. There's definitely a balance of both keeping your mind on, on the end goal, as it were, but also being flexible along the way, because I, I think having too fixed an approach will keep you stuck in the mud. May we have further information, more guidance, please, for my pile twos. What's actually happening for them? Peaks of joy. Awesome. And what did I say? The hummingbird also represents joy, passion. So you're going to come out of this. I think this is really interesting. Do you know, even this figure looks not kind of dissimilar, you know, in, in kind of shape to this hummingbird. It's beautiful. The, you can achieve this, you know. Even if you're feeling a bit overloaded by it or like you've bitten off more than you can chew or you've dug yourself a deep hole or whatever it is or whatever it is that's feeling stuck or you, you can come through this and you can really come through this in a good, good way. That, that's absolutely for sure. That's really being indicated here. Let's ask for guidance as to how you approach this or any more information, clarity as to how to kind of navigate through this. I mean, we know intuition is involved, that's for sure. Your cards are literally flying out. That card definitely wishes to come out and so do those. Okay. Do you feel there's another? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so. <laughs> these three, four came out together. I'm going to put them over there and look at these first. Yes, you can turn this around. You can make this happen. Okay, whatever's on your plate this week or right now. Okay, three of wands. Absolutely. This is very interesting. We have three of wands. We have eight of pentacles. Look at these hands. Uh, we have... The Nine of Wands, we have the Tower, and then we have the Four of Cups. Now, although it's showing in reverse, I, I don't always read reverse cards, but I'm just mindful that this is the way that it came out. Okay, how interesting. We've ended with a Four of Cups, rather. <coughs> Did I say Four of Wands? Four of Cups, and we have um, four cards sitting here. Okay, I feel there might be four key steps for you to take to kind of birth this or to come through this, to reach the breakthrough point, the tower card here. You need to remain focused and you absolutely can achieve this. You see, I think you are already, that you've reached a certain stage in something, okay, and 
It's all feeling, I think, maybe a little bit overwhelming. Something has reached a certain stage of development. Now, you can move this forwards, but this is like a combination of being very steady, very hands-on, um, very methodical, and yet very intuitive at the same time. You know, not, not overloading yourself with the Nine of Wands, remaining really focused, not, not seeing stuff as an obstacle, but seeing it as an opportunity. There's something about your perception coming through here. You can definitely turn this around and I think what you're going to see very quickly because we in these readings I do these readings every Sunday uh, we are looking at the next seven days really so I think you're going to turn something around probably on the one two three fourth day so depending on when you are watching this reading you could be watching it on any day of the week but let's say for example if you are watching this on a Sunday we're talking Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Thursday I think you have a breakthrough moment I think you can see where you're going suddenly. Um, things sort of like start to fall into place. Okay. We have the Princess of Cups. Beautiful energy. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups. How look at that. We've got a run here, except for the Princess. I'm just going to put the Princess down here. Okay. Because then we have this progression. We've got the 10, the 9, and the 8, or the 8, the 9, and the 10. Okay, so what we're seeing this week is, for you guys, firstly, whatever tricky situation or whatever overload or whatever you're feeling around you, you can do it. So there's a clear message, and you're going to feel so elated and overjoyed when you get there. Be methodical, be responsive, and you're going to see a natural progression Okay, and I do think literally you've, you've probably got four days from the time of watching this reading to be um, really uh, timetabled, focused, and yet simultaneously adaptable and responsive. I reckon you're then going to see a shift and a turnaround where you can almost stop and take a breather. And it, it's as if then it's... It's like doing the preparation. Let's say you had an exam, for example, and uh, you are revising and you methodically revise and you are intuitive. If there's something that you don't quite understand, you, you stop and do a bit more research. So you're intuitively revising. You're not being fixed about it. Um, if something pops up, you take a break and then you come back to it. So there's a dedication and a commitment at the same time um, you're not stuck with it, you know, and, and I think literally then you, you kind of, it's like you, you then get still, you do the exam and you just, the rewards start coming in or, or you're building something, you're writing a book, for example, and you methodically prepare your chapters and suddenly then you reach a point where you get still and it just flows something is then flowing into your world in a really big way. So you're going to see massive success. Whatever your situation, whatever the stuckness, whatever hole you might have dug yourself into, whatever is feeling like it's a little bit overwhelming, you're going to see massive, massive, massive success come from this. It's just that you literally have got a few days of almost like grounding yourself, getting centered and giving yourself this beautiful, I, I, it's like the practicing the art of allowing, isn't it? Where you are an active participant working with the universe. You're still active in doing stuff, you're hands-on. At the same time, you're really responsive and flexible every minute throughout this process. And suddenly it all just kind of falls into place. So whatever is concerning you or feeling like it's a bit of an overwhelm or an overload, we're seeing such positivity come from this situation. It just requires you to shift your mindset rather than feeling like you're stuck and overwhelmed to a space where you are just applying yourself in a really gentle, responsive kind of way. And, and I'm seeing it, things really shift and literally just fall into place for you in a really beautiful way. So 
my beautiful pile two. Um, this is your reading for today. Um, thank you so, so much for being here. If this is resonating, um, you know, well, I'm going to say thank you just for being here and being part of this community. If it's resonating, do like, share, subscribe. All of these things really do help the channel. And just thank you so much for being here. Keep us posted as well, guys, as things start to flow. It's always really lovely to kind of hear back from you in the comments as to how your worlds are emerging and your circumstances are emerging. But this is loaded with positivity even though I can see that you're feeling like you've got quite a lot to carry even this beautiful fairy looks like it's quite a heavy load for her to carry but you know this is this is shifting really easily in all honesty it, it's just about taking the right approach been a very pragmatic read um, for you pile two and um, beautiful souls tons of love and um Thank you for being here and yeah, thank you also for those of you who've been giving back through the super thanks in the comments. You are so appreciated. Um, pile two, uh, have an incredibly productive week actually and I look forward to seeing you again for another reading really, really soon. Um, beautiful souls, see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, pile three, welcome to your reading. You have Rado, the rune of journey and you have Bear and this bunch of grapes. Do you know what is channeling through so far in a very clear way is that there is something of, uh, what am I thinking of? It's like the bunch of grapes. It's like fertility. Um, there's something that is going to come to you if you kind of like go into your cave, like a piece of important information or something very fruitful will come if you get still and journey inwards. There's something needing to be shown to you. Um, bears enter the dream time. You know, they don't just go into their cave to hibernate and sleep. They enter the dream time. They're processing something. And Rado, although this can mean you know, you're setting forth on a journey, it can involve like internal journeying, like shamanic journeying. And I, I do feel there's some kind of real nugget, something really fruitful that will come to you through some form of reflection. May we have additional guidance, information. What is this about, please, for pile three? I'm seeing this card and this. I'm actually seeing that one there as well okay this card do you know has come out in all three readings i find this fascinating in a different context each time but yeah record your dreams write your dreams down as well beautiful souls something is to be illumin illuminated that will enable you to commit to a pathway Something is going to be shown to you. It could mean that you course correct, or it could mean that this is an entirely new venture. But yes, yeah, something is going to be illuminated to you really clearly that will enable you to make a commitment to something that's going to be really fruitful. Let's draw more cards. Can we have clarification or even an indication as to what this is about? This is definitely fruitful. There's a, there is reflection needed, a journeying within. Gosh, or maybe some of you will be invited on a journey, planning for something. Are you planning a holiday or a trip somewhere? If you plan, are uh, thinking of planning a holiday or a trip, it may be that this will be... Um, really, really fruitful for you, really fortuitous. Something will happen while you're there. Um, so commit to it. If you're debating whether to um, commit to a, to a journey, a, um, a holiday, or a, even a retreat, if there is something like a spiritual retreat uh, or a meditation weekend, something where you would go and you would be reflecting or learning in that kind of way, um, this is a time to commit to it. It's, I think it's ahead, somewhere in your calendar ahead, but there's a plan for something. Yeah, making a choice. I think it will open doorways for you. Yeah, this is very clear. Your reading is coming through. So that there is something coming to you through some form of reflection, but I think it may actually be in the future. So this is about making a commitment to something. You're putting it in your calendar 
So it could be a retreat. It may be that you just literally commit to daily meditation practice for some of you. But I do think for some, there literally is some opportunity to go on a retreat or on, it could be a vacation or it could be uh, a course of some sort. And it's going to open some doorways for you. It's going to give you some really important choices. There, there'll be a window of opportunity that comes from this. So this is an encouragement to commit. If you were debating, you know, can I afford this weekend retreat or something? This is sort of suggesting that it will be really fruitful. It will pay dividends for you to do so. I'm seeing this card for you. Gentle gardener. Mm, something is going to come from this. There is a decision to be made in your world right now. A choice. About making a commitment to doing something. It's, it's something that will, you would put in your calendar. It could be a weekly course of meditation, anything like that. It could, could be something you literally journey to, but it could be uh, a, an online course of some sort, that, like a shamanic course or something, shamanic journeying course. But it is going to give you something that's going to grow. It's, really fruit, it's going to be really fruitful for you. And you have an opportunity to make a choice or a decision about committing to doing this thing right now. And the, dis and the reading is actually inviting you to make that commitment actually to this, to this, yeah, to this course or this retreat or this holiday, whatever it is, this online course, something. But it does involve something that is, it feels like a, a retreat of some sort. Gosh, something so fruitful is coming though from this. May we have further guidance, perhaps even, I mean, your message is clear, but I think pile three, really clear about make the commitment. You have a choice, of course, but make a commitment. Uh, and um, maybe we can get a sneaky peek into the future about what this is going to create and bring to your world. What is, what is the fruitful thing that is going to hatch uh, from this situation if you commit to it? May we please ask for a sneaky peek into the future here. I, your message is clear in itself. May we please ask for a sneaky peek what is going to potentially emerge from this for my pile threes, please. I'm seeing this card and those two. There may be more than one thing coming through here. It's a general reading. I'm going to put those here. Now, the first card that showed itself was the King of Pentacles, and we also have the Nine of Cups. Okay. We then have the Eight of Wands. Wow. We have the Lovers. We have the card of Temperance. We have the Princess of Cups. Wow. We have the Magician. I'll look at these two cards in a moment. Let's just put them out of the way. So, right, for some of you, because uh, I'm seeing various potentials and this is a general reading, but for some of you, making a commitment to do this thing is as I said, vacation, retreat, it doesn't feel just like a holiday. If it's a holiday, it would be a holiday with purpose, like like doing a, yeah, a shamanic week or something like that, or, or whatever, whatever this is, make a commitment to it. It's something that you will be doing and calen calendaring in. For some of you, it will bring about literally abundance. There'll be an opportunity here for something to really, uh, whatever it is, it's going to grow. It's going to be seriously fruitful. For some of you, it could be that you, you meet someone, if you're single and looking for love, you could meet the love of your life here. For others, it could bring your world back into balance. If, you're, if your health is not good, it will bring your health back into balance. Um, you, will, you will grow and benefit so, so much from this. Uh, if some of you are going on something that would be creative, it will open your creativity, give you an opportunity to develop new skills with the magician. 
with the King of Pentacles, if it's a business, if there's a business opportunity, it could bring significant abundance, a business connection in some way, or even an opportunity to turn something that could be a hobby into a career. What else do we have here? Strength and the Chariot. Mm. These cards are really interesting because this is really, for me, um, highlighting the commitment here. I think um, it may be feeling like it's a challenge. Perhaps you're concerned about how much money it would cost to do this course. Um, perhaps you are concerned that you won't have the resources or the inner strength to be able to do this. But actually, everything in your reading is saying this would be a seriously wise investment. So much will come from, so, so much will bear fruit uh, from committing to this course of action, this whatever this is for you. I think it's right in front of you at the moment that, you know, the, the choice is there for you. And I can see it's a challenge for you. There's concern about, you know, it, it could be about, you know, do you have the strength or the resilience to be able to see it through? Do you have the time to commit to it? Would you be able to really do it justice? For some of you, it could be a financial commitment that you're concerned about making. But everything in your reading is suggesting, and this is a very time sensitive element, actually, um, probably every the reading is always you know in the moment but really there is something right in front of you and you are being really really encouraged to commit to it uh, to make that commitment to make that choice it is yours to make no reading will ever tell you what to do but what this reading is showing is that there is a wealth of fruitfulness that will come from this should you make that choice to commit to this new beginnings look at that crescent moon there here but yeah in, and i i see the concern but this is worthy of doing it really really is um it's it could be very very transformational for you in a, whatever way would be most important for you in in your world uh, pile three this is your reading um very immediate that's for sure um, I am sending you all the love in the world. If this is resonating with you, you know, do um, comment, let us know in this community here, in the Moon Magic community, what this is about for you, what you're looking to commit to. And, you know, keep us posted if you're checking in with the readings weekly. And, um, and also I do post a couple of other readings, usually uh, asking specific questions in the week too. So, yeah, keep us posted, beautiful souls. This looks like the most amazing opportunity and it, it would be something not to turn away from or that seems to be the message coming through. Though, of course, it is always your personal choice. Beautiful souls, I'm sending you all the love in the world. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. These things really do help the channel. Thank you for being here. Welcome if you're new and if this is one of your first readings with me. Um, it's awesome to have you join us. It's a privilege to read for you. Um, thank you so, so much, all of you as well, who've been giving back through the super thanks. Um, that is um, another way of supporting the channel. Pile three, um, have an amazing week ahead and uh, tons and tons and tons of love to you. Uh, I look forward to seeing you again for another reading really soon.